Yeah, but you know, there's no links. You, you just sent me a message in SB. There's, there's no links. You just uh, use the email invitation. Yeah, that's what I need. It disappeared from my email. Oh, you found it or something? No, I went to my history. All right, so I'm going to send it to you one more time. So you can have it at the top of your list. All right, you should get something now. All right, so you're early. We're going to start in seven minutes. I'm going to use the bathroom, get a snack, and we're going to start on today's problem. And you get extra credit for arriving early, so uh, thank you, and see you in a couple minutes.
Welcome to class, Aaliyah. Uh, let's see here. Mims is here. Okay, uh, so class officially started. Uh, let's put on the clock four more minutes. This is for latecomers. Uh, after that, we'll start our norms and today's assignment, or how to do today's assignment. So while you're waiting, uh, don't use this time to just, you know, relax. Use it as to the time to set up your screens. Um, you want to have one screen for SB and one screen for your uh, Google Docs so we can get this problem knocked out. And we have to do a simulation. So um, you might want to open up the Google slide deck that I provided with this classroom that's in the background. I don't know if you guys can see it. But um, you want to go to... Um, maybe I should go there so you'll know where to go. So you click on me, and this is inside of SV, this uh, link for you guys, I'm trying to help you, you know, become college students and go where you got to go. So you're not just college, you, you go anywhere and it, you can, you know, function as a uh, employee. That'd be great. So you guys, of course, SPS is this one. It was for physics today. And uh, that's not correct. I got to fix that. Oh, there it goes. Okay, it just didn't update. I'm gonna say I did all that work in those five minutes, and it just made a liar. There we go. So <laughs> we had the classroom term today, and we have the word of the day, in case you're wondering. And you can always look it up too, because you need the definitions. I think they can see it. They can see it. Okay, I'm gonna check attendance and make sure it worked. Looks like it did. All right. How much time we got left? about another minute. Okay, so that means everybody else is not yet here. Uh, Adam Bagardo is absent. Uh, Brewer, she's a new student. Uh, she's absent. Jacqueline Camacho, absent. Uh, Childs, absent. Excuse me. Courtney Dixon, absent. Eliza Curtis is absent. Jarrell Gray is absent. Frida Johnson's absent. Gabriel's here. 
uh, Elias here and Angel Ocasio absent. Yeah, boys' email addresses keep bouncing back. All right, so that's the roll call. Did you go to office or no? Uh, oh no, Gray just arrived. Okay, welcome to class, sir. Um, mark him present. Okay, did it go? Doesn't look like it saved his name. Let me refresh this. How about that? Okay, there we go. All right, I think I got everybody right. Did it save? Yes, it did. Okay, so let's go through our norms. Um, I, had, I think I got on the screen, you can see it. Uh, today's objective, usually it's uh, 15 points if you put it into the document somewhere. So if you just need me to show you that again, I'll show you the screen. Or you can go to SV and click on uh, any recording um, from your library section, and it's the Google Docs with the classroom. You go to the physics classroom slide, and you'll see this always in case you want to go back and get those points. Let's get our norms done. All right, so our classroom culture, uh, we, we have to do this. Uh, Lee, you had a question? No, I was going to say no, because I know it's going to be the first one. <laughs> oh, you already know it, yeah. So, Leah, can you give us, because we're going to try to get done just real quickly, uh, one through three. No one has the right to hurt another person. Education, the classroom, or safety. We never behave in a way that discredits ourselves, our school, our family. Thank you, Miss Mims. All right. Uh, next would be, let's see, Gabriel is next in the list. Can you read four, five, and number one of the academic norms? And the Taylor County Southwest student is always leader agenda. We take time to set the county of Southwest. We respect the team to others. Thank you, sir. Mr. Gray, can you read three? I'm oh, sorry, two, three, and four. We respect the culture of the classroom. We attend and participate. We have high expectations of ourselves, our peers, and our teachers. Thank you. And I'll read the last one, which is we are here to focus on preparing ourselves for post secondary endeavors. And um, I have to ask this question for 15 points. I'm going to see who gets it. Uh, I know people are going to want to use the chat, so let me do this. What are three routes for post-secondary endeavors? Please type it in because I want to make sure I know who said it. The chat feature is now open for about maybe 30 seconds. See who will get those points. You have to type it in so everybody can see because it it's hard when you all yell out the answer. Nobody knows what he's Oh, okay, Gabriel and Aaliyah both get it. Okay, good, good. On time, same time stamp too. So, yeah, y'all both get the 15 points. So let's turn this off. Mr. Right. Um, Tyler, I got a question. Go ahead. Okay, it's about my job though at UPS. I feel like they cheat me out my money. So mm -hmm. basically, I got my check Friday and I basically got $206, plus they took out tax, and it came out to $166. But they saying that I work 14 hours, but I don't remember or recall working 14 hours. I know that I did more hours than that. So then Monica got, she did 12 hours and got 230 some dollars. That don't make no sense. Okay, Leah, let's talk about it during lunch. You can come to prep. And I'll help you work that out, okay? <laughs> you know what my prep period is? If not, I'll I'll email it to you, and you can come there. And we can figure because it sounds like you might have been wrong, but it's, it, that thing, I guess you're going through the math in your head, and like something doesn't add up, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. We, we, we'll talk about it. Let, let's get this work done, and then yeah, you just come to prep because that's where I'm at, and I'll even excuse you back into your class if you want to discuss that. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. So relax. Just focus. Just focus. We'll, we'll figure it out together. Hopefully, um, what was I about to say? We uh, make sure you're in Edsby, everybody. So you split screen, right? So you follow along with the assignment. And uh, what I want to do here is I'm going to resize this because I'm going to have two screens where I can physically see or visibly see uh, anything I'm typing up in Google Docs. Okay, so now I got my screen size. <clears throat> the next thing you want to do is you want to make sure you log into your appropriate Gmail account. Welcome to class, Courtney. Uh, mark him present real quick. There we go. So um, we're going to make sure you're logged in, like I, I was saying, to your appropriate Gmail account. And you're going to open up 
your Google Apps. If you're on a phone, again, it's kind of tougher, but you got to make some space by deleting, I don't know, Angry Birds, games, whatever you got on there. You got to make some space to put the Google Doc app on there. If you're on a computer, it's way easier. You're not, you know, installing things, especially if you're using Chrome, I think. So uh, we're going to go to Docs. It's the same procedure we do all the time, everybody. Um, let's discuss what we got to do. I'm, I'm using uh, in computer science. We got to go to physics, right? Second period we're in. And, and make sure you open up a blank document. All right, so what do we do? Well, we scroll down. If you're in class, you, you just keep scrolling until you find today's assignment. Now, I always make sure I put the, the GGI link or the townhouse link right where you can see it and you can work on it. Um, now, scrolling down, we have, you know, today's evaluation, which is like you're due now, but the evaluations are like seeing if you are applying the concepts. That's why I don't call them assignments, because it's like giving you a worksheet and be like here. Evaluation is if I give you a project and I give you specific um, instructions, like a scientist or engineer or just a technician would, can you replicate what I do? Can you do what I do? And that doesn't always necessarily mean copy paste because you see what happens when we copy and paste, right? Things don't look right. So let's start with this part. Uh, I want to make sure I don't overload the chat because it'll cut some things off. All right. And did it all fit? Yes, I think it did. Okay. So I was like, ooh, please fit. So Courtney, you just got here uh, for about 30 points. Can you read from hello down to the questions car part with the question mark? Hello and good day to all future phys physicists. Please remember that all synchronous problems. Please remember that all synchronous problems need to be Com completed and ready to present tomorrow in class. Asynchronous problems have to be completed as homework and will be checked tomorrow in class as well. And advertisement says, I mean, uh, uh, an advertisement, I can't see. An advertisement car says a car can go from a zero to 27.9 meters per second in 6.7 seconds. What is the average acceleration of the car? Thank you, sir. Okay, so that's uh, 30 points for, well, 35, because there's was, was a, a lot of stuff to say. Um, so thank you for reading that. Welcome to class, Jacqueline. Um, so the Jacqueline, by the way, is your microphone working today? I just want to check and make sure. Yeah. There we go. Cool. All right. So let's go through the problem, right? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the problem over. And then don't forget, you take the other problem over, which is your homework problem. Now, I want to talk about this real quickly because everybody doesn't understand this. On Tuesdays, only Tuesdays, um, you guys have what's called asynchronous time. That's where I sit down and I'm here and I'm just literally here pointing out which problems you got to do. It's like office hours when you're in college. That's how I want you to think about it because when you guys leave high school, you're going to probably in some office hour setting, whether it's work, military, whatever, you're going to be in that setting. You have to go outside of class time or asynchronous time to understand what you need to understand during synchronous time to pass the class. So Tuesdays, uh, you have the option to come to my class and catch up on work, or you could use this time to go, if you're caught up in my class, you use this time to go into other classes and catch up on work. That's depending upon if the synchronous, asynchronous days works for you. Okay, so if you're confused about that, talk, let's talk about it on Tuesday, which is tomorrow. What was, we, what was I saying, the problem, right? So the synchronous problem, we got to get done by today. Like, I'm starting to expect you guys at least get that part done because I'm doing it for you. But the asynchronous part, again, if you didn't do it that night, and they're very similar, that's when you come in like, I need help, right? So let's grab these problems. The first thing is, you're going to type your document name. A lot of students are not doing this. Please do this. Some people have gotten creative and, and they got an extra credit for it because they actually, you know, getting their full name in there and it, it looks clean and professional, right? So do now. And then you're going to put the date, which is today, uh, last day of, this is the last day of November, right? After Turkey Day. Uh, or I don't know who ate what, but yeah. So. Next, we need our header, right? So 
close my name. And let's not forget our cameras have to stay on if you can. Um, so I appreciate those who are every now and then. I know some, I know some people are going to be switching screens, but every now and then I need to see your face because that's just, you know, uh, CPS policy, not me. Uh, what was I saying? Dave again, right? Lastly, the period we're in is second, I think, right? And you guys are physics with algebra students. Title, um, so I'm gonna turn the chat on, don't blurt it out. Who knows what the title for today is for 15 points? Let me see who's paying attention and who wants it. Turn the chat on for 30 seconds. It is up to you guys to get the points. So what's today's title? That's the question. Oh, Aaliyah took it and Jacqueline. Okay, cool. All right. Well, you got some fast typers or co uh, copy pasters or something. That was pretty quick. All right. So they got the 15 points, both of them, because they have the same timestamp. That's why I want you to use the chat so I can capture when you're participating, because I pull the chat transcripts and I actually read them. Right? Part of my job is to make sure you're learning. It's called checking for understanding. So let's put the title in there. And again, it is, let's see here, what's, you can copy from the chat if you're, you're clever enough, the acceleration, right? Acceleration of Google, but just acceleration. And what's next, all right? Miss Ms. Tyler, I'm gonna join right back. We're gonna keep calling me. Oh, okay, come right back. All right, I'm glad she told me that. I didn't wanna have to. All right, so center your title, right? Let me zoom in some so you guys can see everything I'm doing. Okay, so this is what you have so far, right? I think I'm, I'm hoping I didn't go too fast. You should have your document already named. You should have your header, which is pretty much standard in my life since I've been in CPS and beyond. Like I've always had a signature line. I don't know what it is. It just makes it look more professional. Your title is kind of like what you're talking about or what problem are you doing? So we put that in the middle. And next is the exit slip. So everybody knows how this goes, right? So exit slip, you type that part, and there's two parts to this. So classroom term of the day is what? And the word of the day is what? I kind of talked about that at the beginning of class, if you're here. So this is that Google slide deck that I was telling you about. If we go inside of your ESV account, and we click on this link here for every recording I place, I place that link in there in case you forgot the exit slip, all right, which is the object. I'm sorry, the objective for 15 extra points for 25 points. You need both the word of the day and classroom term of the day because both are relevant. So what does that mean? You click on this link and we'll put that in the chat. And again, you might want to bookmark it because it changes daily. You only need to link once. It changes whenever I change it. It's kind of like publishing a website. In the end, and I want you to save it, you guys are going to have to make your own Bitmoji classrooms, and it's going to be your best works, but you're only going to get credit if you like, create it like I have, and you, you have your own Bitmoji. We'll talk about that later, though. Okay, so what do we have next? Like, I was getting this link for you. Uh, welcome, Mr. Irvin. What can I do for you? Uh, let's see here. Uh, I was just looking for mails. Okay. Okay, so there we go. And next, we, if you like I said, if you follow along with it, you click on myself. Let me blow this up. So if I click on myself sitting on the couch, you'll it'll advance to my prep period. And again, all the videos, I try to be diligent. This has been updated since the 20th. But uh, you click on your particular class, and it's SPS. Okay, so this is where you can figure out what the word of the day because you forgot. It's always going to be here. If not, you can be like, Tyler, what is it? I'll, I'll update it here first so it's easier for you to look it up. Okay, so just make sure you can access that because this will help you out in class when you try and get points you may have forgotten things. So for about 20 points, I want to see, Jacqueline, can you read what's in the gray box there? Or do you have it on your screen already? It says today's objective. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Uh students will be able to utilize the definition of 
average acceleration with respect to change in velocity velocity and change in time. Thank you, ma'am. All right. So let's, uh, let's Jacqueline. All right. Who haven't I gotten around to in terms of points? I think it was Aaliyah. You read a bit already. But Aaliyah, can you read the classroom term of the day and um, word of the day in there? You see the box? Are you there, Aaliyah? Okay. Uh, what about Gabriel? Classroom term of the day is acceleration. Word of the day is sufficient. Thank you, sir. Okay, so points for him. All right, now let's talk about the problem because it's 1031. It's not really a difficult problem because I don't think it's, well, I, I got, let me be sure. I don't think it's any algebra you have to do initially. You're just calculating it out based upon the formula. So what is uh, our first problem? Well, like I say, you can grab it from ESB. Let's come up here and um, grab 1S and 2A. One synchronous, we do together. 2A, you do uh, at home tonight, or you can give it a shot tomorrow uh, during our asynchronous days. That's just for physics and computer science students on Tuesdays. All right, so let me see here. Treat them like office hours. Are we talking about, can you stay at the school? No, but you can come on Tuesdays. So what do you need to do this problem? Well, we need some a definition. And that definition is the definition of average acceleration. So type with me, because there's a lot of stuff to put together. And you gonna I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna put it in the chat for you so you can review it later, because I figure that's only fair. But it's a lot of editing that people are not doing, like subscripting, crossing things out. That's a problem. Please do it. You're shaving points off yourself, right? Because you're not, it's kind of like not ironing your pants. I'm going to notice and be like, okay, go back, you know, and fix that. Uh, so average acceleration, right? What is it defined as in physics? We got to hurry up because we have a simulation to do. But I think that might wait for tomorrow's synchronous part. It depends on how fast we get this done. We can do the, sync, uh, the simulation next and take a picture and put it in there. I'll tell you about that later. So remember, it is defined as, and we got to use delta a lot, so get ready for that part too, everybody. So change in velocity, all right? And this is divided by, well, let me just put a slash so it's easier to see. Parentheses, make this one term. So change in velocity divided by change in at the velocity again, that'll be one, right? But change in time. And the center are pretty much our definition for average acceleration. So okay, so I think you guys can see all that. Um, let me change it to 14 in case that's not visible enough for you. Just be able to see that part at least. All right, moving on. What? Well, how are these things uh, defined? Like average acceleration. What is it measured in? So you talk about average acceleration in terms of meters per second, but it's squared because it's an acceleration. Raises to a power. This is going to be equal to what? Well, if you remember, velocity is meters per second, but not squared. So we just type meters per second. Basically, a derivative of uh, acceleration. Well, what about you know change in time? Well, that's going to be seconds. Okay. I'm giving you the definitions. I'll put them in the chat. But you should be typing this up with me if you can see it. So you can already have it done, and you know, hopefully, we can get out of class a little bit early. But the simulation part, I think, is going to be the last part. It's going to be trouble because I know some people got print screen, some people got to do a screenshot on their little phone, or I don't, I don't know. I hope you can print screen this image in because it's part of the credit for today. All right. So, what is the mathematical definition of this? The shorthand version, in case you got to do algebra and manipulate it. 
Well, it's going to be, and you're going to write it the way I write it because it's the mathematical version of it. So it's going to be A to so capital A, and then you put lowercase av. This is for average acceleration, all right? So I'm going to take the av portion, and I'm going to subscript it just like that. Over here and take care of that again. I gotta turn it off. And that's equal to what? Well, it's change in velocity. This is where we're talking about the change in part in mathematics, right? If we if we talked about slope, that's delta y over delta x, or rise over run, in case you forgot these things. And um, delta is used through 90% of physics because it's a Greek letter. Greek letters come out a lot in uh, physics and higher level mathematics. So get used to these these letters and what is that and you it's listen to what I'm calling them so what do you call that well you come over here to insert that's changing I'm talking about right here and you come down to what is known as special characters and make sure you change arrows if this is selected to math okay once you do that you type D E L T A now give you the delta symbol. Okay, this is, you can pick any one. Long as it looks like delta, don't pick like the lowercase delta. I'm talking about the uppercase one. So it looks like this, right? Once you click on it, it'll insert automatically, and it looks just like that. So this is delta v, or velocity, right? Divided by well, let me use delta again here. Delta t because it's both change in. That that is basically what you're going to use to uh, you know, solve and manipulate algebraically. This is the mathematical representation of what's above here. This is uh, saying the same thing in words, but this is what it means. So if you see it in a textbook or you see it somewhere, that delta symbol means it's going to be a final minus initial, right? So what do I mean by that? Because some people may have forgotten what it actually means right? from our basic math and physics or just SAT prep. So if I take this again, this translates to, because I got to explain this part to you guys before we get into the known and unknowns and finish the problem off. Uh, this breaks into, you have a set down here. Delta is final minus initial. So we'll have TF final minus TI. And yes, we have to subscript those. Those are just designations. So basically with delta V, it'll be what? Well, that'll be VF. Once you know it means something, it's not just a pretty symbol or it means to do something mathematically. That's how you look at it because math is just like a puzzle. And if you, you're manipulating the Rubik's Cube or you're playing a puzzle, you'll figure out how to get it. It's just it's not easy as plug and chug. So sometimes you need certain equations or different tools for certain things. So now I got to subscript these, right? So VI, I'm going to subscript that. And please do this because, you know, get in the habit of doing it because if I send this to the chat, you're going to be like, yeah, I'm done. You're going to copy paste them, look at it. And I'm probably give you about 60, 50%. You know, and it's mainly because you didn't do everything correctly. And you should do that. Fix all these. All right. Okay. So now it looks even more uh, specific to what it means mathematically. So the deltas are final minus initials, right? So we have delta V. I just explained that that is going to be VF minus VI as it's shown on the screen. So I think we are, we're good and ready to uh, set this problem up and get it out the way. Let's do our known and unknowns. Before I do that, let me put this part in the chat so you can begin editing it while I'm starting to pick this problem apart for you in our ID segment. We're going to have a share out real soon, so I hope you know you gather in all this as quickly as you can. Let me grab this part, and uh, you know, just make sure you underline this because I think people are not understanding what the the notes are, the definitions are, and this is actual definition in terms of physics. You pick up a physics Bible or physics textbook. It's a good one. You know, you'll find some great equations on this. It's called kinematics. So known and unknown values, right? Where are we at with this? And I just put in the chat everything I think you need for the first set of notes, right? Come up here 
And it says an adver advertisement car can go from this range, right? So what does it say? Zero to 27.9 meters per second. So I'm talking about this. I'm just pulling from the problem what was given, right? So go from, I'm talking about the car itself. So when we talk about meters per second, what is that? You gotta come here and look at our notes and it says meters per second, that's a velocity. So we have to go in a range because it goes from zero, they tell you first, to 27.9. So that's two points. Um, they could start the problem off, it started at two and it goes to right some other number. So don't always think it's just gonna be zero. Sometimes um, you can't assume that. You have to look at what the problem specifically is stating. All right, so what does that mean? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need two values because I have two values for my velocity. So I'm gonna take VF. I'm doing it this way so you'll understand it. And so there it is. And what is that gonna be equal to? Well, we can go back to the top and look at the problem. I think it was 27, again, uh, 0.9, right? So I think that was 27.9, yeah, 27.9 meters per second. So, so I'll put, and it's meters per second. And next we have the I, so I'm just gonna grab this here. What would that be? Well, that would be zero, right? So let's go ahead and do this. And that's equal to zero meters per second, All right? Let's pull up, what else did the problem give us? Looks like it gave us a time frame. And that would be basically from, right? So, you know, your time had to start at zero seconds. This when you have a stopwatch, that's when you click it and you see how fast you're going and stop it for your duration if you cover the distance. So 6.7 seconds is be your TF and your TI would be zero. So let's put that into our mix here. Grab that, come here, there. I want you to bump over. Uh, this is steel subscript because it's small. Okay, and that would be like I said. Uh, I think it was the final time. It was six point seven seconds, right? But what is your TI? Your initial time. So if I come here, just setting it up for you, like we're setting our ingredients up to get this problem done. So I hope we're following along with these notes because uh well, nobody getting confused in your asynchronous problem it is pretty much similar so that's i'm like are y'all paying attention because <laughs> this is this makes the second problem really easy all this change the values if you see what happened there what are we doing on time 10 44 so we just had enough time to finish the problem off and maybe look at the simulation all right so unknown well, what don't we know? If we look at this equation that we've been using, the only part we don't have, and it's an easy way to figure out if you had to do algebra or not, um, this is already set up to find our unknown value. And the question also asks you or tells you what you need to calculate for. So that's average acceleration of the car. All right, so let's, let's grab that. We're gonna just say, hey, what is average acceleration? This is what the question is asked. That's our unknown value. So that's going to be equal to some value, we're going to calculate a minute, in terms of meters per second and squared. So let me fix this up because I think it's just too big and that's why it's cutting off. There we go. There we go. So, and this is going to be squared, not second two. Awesome sauce, as I always say. So now we're at the point, what's the strategy? And before I go too far, let me give you these notes. And yes, you have to make them look like what I have on the screen. Put this in the chat for you. Oh yeah, and chat transcripts will be available with the recording. Uh, the goal is four, four thirty. Depends on how fast fourth period, no fifth period. I'm sorry, uh, closes. Uh, sometimes students have a lot of questions. So those are known and unknown values. You still have to set it up where you have two columns, like I have known underneath, um, unknowns underneath the unknowns, knowns underneath the unknowns. 
uh, knowns and needs to knowns. So set up the same way and edit it. Everything should be like the, your I's and your, your TF's and your TI's. It should be edited correctly the same way I have, right? So strategy. What is our final strategy to finish this problem off? We pretty much have, you know, our game plan. and We set our tools to use to, you know, to be successful at this puzzle. So strategy is solve for the period. That's what you comma. Solve for average acceleration using the equation above, right? Real simple. That's why we set it up in the notes. So which equation are you going to use? You're going to use this one here. Now, if we just had, it, you know, one value, then yeah, but we had ranges here. And I want to start here so you understand what delta means, because you can't skip over that part. You just like, oh, delta, it might mean something differently if you're not looking at it correctly. Okay, so that means I'm going to take this equation, and the way it's set up, we just plug the values in. That's all we got to do here, right? Let's do that, and then see what crosses out and everything. Calculate the final answer, which you will have to calculate. We can use math Papa, but I'll take you through all the steps, and you still got to calculate the final answer. Then take what you know and apply it to the asynchronous problem. That's the second problem. All right, so let's go through it. So let me put this here. Bring it to the side because we're about to work on it. And then bring it down one more and start inserting values that we've already designated from the problem, you know, from the unknown unknowns. So what is VF? Well, if I come up here, VF is, let me grab this. Come down here, VF. You gotta use some parentheses with VF, right? Small set of parentheses with whoa, did that get big? There we go. And then we have VI. So open up some parentheses for VI and grab it. And it's gonna be pretty much this value that we already, you know, designated. So grab that. Uh oh, I did something wrong. Go back. There you go, undo. I love that undo feature. All right, so click here and put that there. All right, so what else do we gotta plug in? We got TF and TI. I mean, I hope this is seeming really simple to what's happening and what I'm doing. After we set up our known and unknowns and we figure out which notes to use, we're being physicists right now. This is how you meticulously go through a situation and fix things. So what's TF? TF we listed at 6.7 seconds, right? So we'll put some parentheses right here for TF. Insert something there. And that will be the 6.7 seconds, right? And yes, before you ask me, I'm going to put this in the chat. And what's lastly? Well, that will be zero seconds, right? That's your TI, if you wonder what I'm talking about. So TI is, right there for it, zero seconds. All right, so let me scoot this, this strategy down so you can see it all together and you can see the changes from steps to steps uh oh come here you there we go you should see what i'm doing right now it's, it's a lengthy equation because i made it one for one size 14 so you guys can see it but it actually fits on one line and then some things are going to cross out next so let's see what that what happens there so I'm gonna grab this and there's some things that are going to cancel out and create a situation that we needed because we have to find meters per second squared for an acceleration just like we talked about gravity that's also a form of acceleration okay so if i go up this is what i'm talking about we got to find meters per second squared at the very end of this so some things got to combine all right let's see what happens here well meters per second and meters per second they're like terms so of course this is going to go away okay because it's just zero seconds you don't have to worry about that. So we can cross that out. And you can do the same thing with this zero seconds. Because that's just going to be zero. And that minus sign is going to go with it. All right. So you can cross this out. Oh, sorry. So far, so so far, so good. Now we just have meters per second. And this is a fraction by itself, because it's like m over s. And this is second. It's like seconds is already in the bottom. 
So this second will come down into this division of seconds. And let's just clean it up so you can see it. And remember, I said this part is gone. And of course, this part will be gone. So now you just have, like I said, seconds will come down here and combine with this seconds. So now what it becomes is all this gets crossed out, right? And I'm crossing out in steps so you can understand it. Like I said, it gets crossed out because they combine and make meters per second squared. It's a double fraction. So the seconds comes down and becomes second squared. So, you know, with meters per second and then squared. You can raise that to the power of two. Okay. Okay, 1051, doing pretty good. Almost through with this thing. I'm at you. So I think we're gonna do our uh, asynchronous um, simulation tomorrow because I still want to do share outs. I don't think we have time for both. Uh, so what am I working with? Turn this off. We go make that big again. And like I said, we're going to take this and clean it up. Goodness gracious, come here. Yeah. Undo that. All right, so copy. I must hit X for pace. And there we go. So what goes away here, we already said it. So you end up with uh, this gone here. And this one there. Uh, this is gone. And you see it's getting, I'm just cleaning it up so it's smaller. And you can make a quick calculation. The final answer right, is what? Well, we're going to leave that to you to calculate. Right? And then at this point, it's 1052. Should I give you about five minutes? Because we get out of here at 11.10. We'll have time for share outs. And that's your in-class points, everybody. So five more minutes to catch up because I can put this in the chat and you can work on editing it. Is that the consensus? Or did everybody type it up as fast as I typed it up? Or what's the deal? Put this over here. And those are those are the notes, and you got to edit them, everybody, the same way. So I don't really hear anybody. I think you might need five minutes. Some people say I move too fast. I don't know. So I'm gonna put five minutes up. I think that's best. And then we're gonna do share outs because uh, we get out of here real soon. And um, the goal is to put some points on the the books because uh, I don't know if you guys looked at your uh, your grade book. You'll see fifty percent where you had zeros. The reason I did that is because that's in-class participation points. And I have you guys read things. I have you guys uh, share your screen out. That's how you get those little 50 points, even if you didn't do the exit slip and other stuff. I mean, it's good to get more than 50 points every day, but I'm just saying it's a start. So try to have something ready to share out real soon. The most I can do is five minutes because we got almost out of here. Please use this time to get the notes correctly. And videos again and a chat, all the notes I put in the chat, transcripts will be available. You, you have, of course, till 8 p.m. to finish everything, but you should have at least the document set up and the questions in there and some of these notes in there just to get the points. You gotta have something started. So I'll know that you just wasn't sit here watching TV with me on mute. So please, please uh, put something in there.
is that? Okay, so uh, if you have something to share, I can write down some in-class points for you. Uh, okay, somebody raised their hand. Is that what happened? I'm trying to see what happened here. I think somebody raised their hand. I heard it. So did somebody put something in the chat? No, somebody raised their hand. All right, so who would like to go first, I guess? I can't see it no more. Or was that an error? <laughs> Okay, so maybe I should go down the list. Let's see here. Uh, Aaliyah, how much were you able to get done? So I should turn on the share feature for you guys in case y'all want to start sharing. There we go. I think it's on. Let me stop sharing. See how far you guys have gotten. Aaliyah, are you there? Don't hear nothing from her. Uh, what about you, Gabriel? Uh, were you able to get anything accomplished? Mr. Mayweather? Looks like some people stepped away from the computer. Uh, oh, no, Gabe is presenting. Okay. There you go. Okay. Oh, you making progress, dude? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So all you gotta do is the second problem, right? I think you calculate the final answer there. You know, space out that second problem, and I think you know what to do, right? It's the same type of problem. I just change the numbers, so you're just literally recreating the situation. I think you can do this. I looked at some of your scores. You got it, Gabriel. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I couldn't hear you, dude. Okay, so uh, you're free to go in about four minutes, okay? Uh, who's next? Let's see here. Jacqueline, you have anything you could share, young lady? Yeah, um, hold up. Okay. points already wrote down. There you go, Jacqueline. I see what you got there. Okay. Oh, you did it real clean. Okay. Okay, so uh we'll we'll talk about the simulation tomorrow, Jacqueline, and um start thinking about any, you know, work that you might want me to try to give you clues or you know point you in the right direction with notes on. Uh, for tomorrow. That's our asynchronous day, okay? You're free to go in three minutes. Uh, who's next in my list? That would be I got Gabe, Jacqueline. Uh, next would be Mr. Gray, looks like. Are you there, sir? Okay, okay. I didn't yeah. see. I'm, I skipped Courtney, my bad. Yeah, so Gray, can you share your screen? Yeah, you raised your hand, Gray. Okay, I got you. Can you share your screen though? Okay. Yep, there you go. I'm seeing something. Okay, I was gonna say turn it sideways. You and Aaliyah are getting so much better with that. All right. Uh, center your notes, I would say, and uh, you look like you're getting better. Uh, you need the rest of your dating and stuff in there too, bro. Uh, <laughs> but you like you're getting better. Uh, so finish it up, and uh, I think Aaliyah left, and turn in by eight. Now, if you don't understand the second problem, that's what tomorrow's going to be about. We use asynchronous day, okay? So uh, you have an opportunity to finish it up. But still turn something in by 8 today, at least the synchronous part. And then, mm -hmm. if, you know, if you think you didn't do the second problem right, we'll talk about it tomorrow. Uh, you can leave in a minute, Gray. Who's just came back? That was Aaliyah. I got Jacqueline. I got Gray. I think I got everybody except for Courtney. That's who I didn't get. And uh, Aaliyah. So, uh, Okay, there's Aaliyah.
Okay. You've been keeping up. <laughs> She's fixing her title. Way to go, Leah. Real quick. Um, okay, so Leah, you put it in this you put it in the second though. That goes with the first problem. All those steps. Right? Okay, okay. But it's just, it's the same method. It just it goes with one S, okay? So fix that and then um try to work on the second one. Okay, it's pretty similar. If not, tomorrow will be the day where we talk about that again, in case people, because I want to see these test scores go up. I think you guys are getting lost in the sauce. So that's why I was really rooting for the office hours. Uh, Courtney, you're the only one I haven't seen yet, sir. Do you have anything you could show? What did he show? No, I ain't got Courtney yet. I don't, I don't recall writing Courtney's points down. Um, you said what, sir? Oh, Jacqueline left. All right. If everybody, if, if you presented already, it's time for you to get ready for um, GGI and lunch. By the way, so don't you know? Yeah, unless you got a question for me, um, but do come to office hours. Do go to GGI because I'm, I'm, I give out a little bit of extra credit. <laughs> more than I can say this ever do. Uh, just so you participate in the GGIs. I think those life skills are important for you guys. So don't forget, um, if you don't have no question, you can leave now, though. Courtney, um, do you have anything to present, or you want to wait till tomorrow to try to get something together? Because it's asynchronous. It's also the time I let you guys try to get some of those in-class points back if you didn't get them uh, the same day. Tomorrow. tomorrow. You going to try on tomorrow? Okay. Well, get ready for uh, GGI, sir. Uh, who's that? Leah, you got a question for me? Okay, she's muted. All right. Yeah, I had a question. Right, that's right. I was like sitting here waiting. I thought you had to want to talk. It was still the same, the same thing that I asked you earlier. Yeah, I know. Let me turn the recording off. One second, young lady. <laughs> 